Hey everyone, so I am still in Tulum, my dears, and I'm currently on the corner of what is in front of us, Avenida Cuculcan. Avenida Cuculcan is uh, one of, it's really only the second uh, direct road to the beach from Tulum Centro to Tulum Beach. And here on the corner uh, is the site of the future Menese Cuculcan building, which is uh, projected to be completed by April of 2024. And uh, they have, they still have a handful of units left, a couple of regular studios starting at, is it 165 or 155? 165. 165, okay. And uh, they have a few swim up units that are on the ground floor. Those are priced at 195. Those are literally direct access to the pool from your unit, amazing. And they have a few penthouse uh, units left. So, um, what is it, just penthouse, two bedrooms? Yeah, we have a uh, penthouse to bedroom at 408, something like that. This is Arturo, yeah. by the way. He's hey another guys. one of the uh, Menese uh, team. And this is uh, yeah, Daniel. Daniel. We already met him. Okay, awesome. So uh, we're going to do a bit of a drive. Let's, let's keep going. Let's go. So yeah, it may seem like we're in the middle of nowhere. This is really as far as you can actually develop in Tulum. De aquí en adelante, si se puede salir o no? Yo creo que esta área this area, can it be developed or not, right here? Sí, se va a construir, pero tiene una densidad menor. Oh, okay, so this area, apparently what he just told me is, um, it is allowed to be developed, uh, but it would be a lower density, only two levels, okay? So whereas up there, we're allowed the ground floor plus three levels, okay? Y esta es área restringida. And this right protegida. next to us is actually protected green space. So there will be no further uh, development, okay? He's telling us to slow down. Okay. Oh, he stopped us. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, todo bien. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? There is police presence both in Playa and Tulum. And, you know, that's a good thing. Uh, keeping everybody safe. So, we are... So, this area in Tulum, where this building is located, is uh, known as Region Ocho. And that is the closest area to the beach, okay? And it's the closest area in which they still allow development. Um, and again, there are large swaths of Tulum that are protected green space and cannot be developed. So whatever development is coming to Tulum in the next few years, it is what it is. This area will, the, the area that is allowed to be developed is in the process of being developed and it will not last forever. I mean, it's, it's, it is developing fast. Uh, and again, of all the developers out there, there are many developers that are building in this area and that are beautiful uh, projects. Tulum, uh, sorry, I was gonna say, Menese is an experienced developer. They have a track record. They build to a high standard and that's why I feel comfortable uh, promoting them. And, uh, and these buildings are gonna be absolutely beautiful. Uh, I, may, I don't think I've done a webinar on Menese Kukulkan yet, did I? Maybe not, but today's I'm gonna do a, today I'm gonna do a webinar on Menese Coba, which is their newest uh, project that they're launching in Tulum, which again is gonna have an amazing location. So, just so you know, from Menese Kukulkan, this is a short biking distance to the famous turquoise turquoise water Tulum beaches. So yeah, we're driving. I'm gonna show you guys how um, you know how close we are to to Tulum Beach. Okay, so apparently just last year the municipality uh, paved Avenida Cuculcan and they officially made it, you know, the second beach access because previously we only had Avenida uh, Coba and again on a weekend it gets bumper to bumper, you're going to be waiting a while to get to the beach. So it was good news that they decided to create this second beach access. Yeah, yeah, it comes. okay. All right, so there we are. So as you can see, that, that could be a very short biking distance for you, for your future uh, guests, Airbnb guests. So here we are in Tulum's. Del lado derecho tenemos el club de playa mía. Okay. Y de este lado vamos a pasar a la cova. Okay, so, um, so again, we are in Tulum's hotel zone. Maybe I'll lower the window. Yeah. And the beach is right there. We are in a bit of a rush today because I gotta get my son from school. So uh, we are, I'm just kind of showing you around. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. So beautiful. 
beautiful. Yeah, it is. There is definitely something about Tulum. It's very special. The energy here is is very special and many people come here for that. Not to mention the beaches are absolutely amazing. Um, and what was I going to say? So he mentioned Beach Club Mia. So people who buy in Menese Kukulkan, what about your other buildings like Menese Kuba, for example? ¿Van a tener acceso a Mia también? Sí, tenemos convenio con Mia. Estamos ¿Para hablando. todos los de Menese? Para todos los desarrollos. Ok, so for all the Menese Tulum uh, developments, uh, they have uh, an alliance with Mia Beach Club because basically, you know, yes, there is a public beach in Tulum, there, there is public beach access, uh, but it's a lot pleasant, more pleasant to, to, um, there you are, to go at one of these pretty beach clubs where they can serve you your margaritas, whatever you want, you know, food, drinks, and so what is the convenio? Eh, les van a bajar la... 10% de descuento. Okay, well, I mean, it's not a huge deal, that, but they would be getting a 10%, <laughs> you know, so so people who are owners or guests at Menese, in one of the Menese buildings, would get a 10% discount uh, on everything at the Mia Beach Club. Uh, I was like, 10% doesn't seem to, uh, <laughs> it's better than nothing, I guess, okay? Of course, you have access to a million other, not a million, but a few other beautiful, fancy beach clubs. Um, again, this would be mostly for your guests, your Airbnb guests. Uh, look at all this amazingness. It's just, oh my God. This is the famous Tulum Beach. And, uh, yeah. Igual tenemos convenios en el norte. Estamos cerrando ahorita Vidanta con Circus Soleil. Ok. Igual, descuento. Uh, ahí va a depender, hay descuentos hasta el 50%. Bueno, no, en, en el Circus Soleil, uh -huh. eh, me parece que llega hasta el 20. Y también tienen un, un parque acuático. Ahí sí se maneja hasta el 50%, dependiendo de la temporada. Got it. So, Daniel is just telling me that they are that the company Menace is in the process of negotiating some other discounts for other attractions in the area such as Cirque du Soleil um, there's a, a big water park so all good things coming again look at this amazingness all aquí, around aquí en Tulum igual estamos negociando con Grupo Rosa Negra otros dos clubes de playa y okay. tres restaurantes es uno de los más importantes okay they are also he's only negotiating with uh, a couple of other famous beach clubs as well as some of the restaurants in the area to to get discounts for their guests amazing well yeah and that'll be a good thing because especially in the beach side of Tulum prices are uh, not cheap let's just put it out hey okay is this I don't know what this is but everything is just looking so magical these are little boutiques no guys it's a different it's a different scene you know Tulum Beach it's just definitely something very unique about the look of it so are we already in Coba? no no okay so what is the papaya project the international music KK what is that oh it's another exchange uh, another hotel okay so I'm confused. Is this esta no es la avenida Cobá todavía? Esta es la, la sí, esta es una turística ya en que será 200, 300 metros y ya estamos en la Cobá. Okay. Y pero acceso a la playa, playa pública está más allá y no, pasando. Ya la, ya la pasamos. De hecho, de más adelante hay varias playas. Playa Paraíso. Playa Paraíso. Oh, okay, okay. So we are still in Tulum's um, hotel zone. Well, they don't call it the hotel zone. They call it Tulum Beach, okay, but this, these, these are all boutique hotels, and once we cross Avenida Cobá, which is again the main beach access in Tulum, that's where, uh, crossing that, you have access to additional beach clubs and um, and also public beach access. There, They have a Playa Paraíso, is one of them that I've been to, and everything there is just gorgeous. You've got turquoise water. Um, oh my god, why sand beaches? Precioso, precious, precious. Okay. 
So now we are gonna go up again, Avenida Coba, and we're gonna check out uh, Menezes' newest uh, project, which is actually called, so you see, that's how you get to the archeological site of Tulum. There are lots of tours you can take that will take you there. So I will stop the camera. We're just gonna go up this Avenida and I will start filming again once we get to the Menese Coba site, okay?